k over t, another integral, you put the integral of one over the square root of e to the x minus one dx. Okay, the reason I'm doing this one is I just had this thought that this integral right here, it's very similar to just this easier integral, one over e to the x minus one. And what I was thinking here was just because we have this inside the square root that's gonna make it much more difficult. But I'm not sure if that's really true because what I wanna do to start is Let's just factor, what I, want, what I really want to do is get something into the numerator so we can do a u substitution. So if I factor something out of the square root, we bring it into the numerator, hopefully that'll solve it. So how I want to factor this is just going to be e to the x times one minus e minus x. And this thing's all inside the square root. So then if I take the e to the x outside of the square root, I can write this as e to the x over two times square root, I don't really need the parentheses, one minus e minus x. So then I'll go ahead and rewrite it and I'll take this part into the numerator. So when I do it, we're gonna write this as e minus x over two in the numerator dx, and then we'll have this stuff in the square root. But then the way I have it right here, it's not really gonna work very well for the u substitution because if I make the u substitution for the whole thing, the derivative of this is just gonna be like e to the minus x. We don't have the same exponent. So what I want is, I want the exponent to be the same on this and this. Well, that's pretty easy to fix. Let me just do this. Let's get rid of that. And instead of writing it as e to the minus x, I can write it as e minus x over two all squared. And then doing it like that, we'll do our u substitution for just this right here. And then that's gonna work well with what we have in the numerator. So setting this up, let's see, so u is just gonna be e minus x over two, take a derivative, so du minus a half is gonna come out here, so we'll have minus one half e minus x over two dx. So then we almost have our numerator set up to match the du. All I need to do is multiply in minus one half here, then all of this is gonna be du. I don't wanna change it, so let's multiply by minus two out in front. We'll go ahead and substitute first. We'll bring over the minus two. And again, the whole numerator is just gonna be du over square root one minus u squared. But then what we're left with, very common integral, this is just gonna be arc sine. So we can integrate in terms of u, write this as arc sine of u. And now we just need to back substitute in order to finish this thing off. So for my final solution of this, we just have minus two arc sine e minus x over two add a plus c and that's it. Okay, so there you have it. I think we can say that this one is a little bit harder than this one, but still not too bad. I finished it off on one board. So just a little bit of algebra and a e substitution right to the solution. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.